Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones, and we're continuing our discussion about great holiday gifts. Now, you could have the best projector in the world, but you need good content. And if you're looking for a reference source for content, you have to look at Kaleidoscape. And joining me is my man, Brent, from Kaleidoscape. And we're going to talk about the Kaleidoscape players and all the content and all the great offerings that Kaleidoscape has to offer. So, Brett, how are you, man? Oh, I'm doing great, Phil. Thanks for having me on here. Happy holidays, and happy holidays to, uh, to everybody else watching as well. So I am a big fan of the Kaleidoscape. Um, I actually had an opportunity to do a review on the Kaleidoscape Strato S media player, along with Art Fireman, who used to be the, the old editor. And we both absolutely love the product. So can you talk a little bit about the Strato S and what makes it so special? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, you know, first and foremost, you know, as, as we look at, you know, great content, like you said, it's it's so important through the chain. Um, you know, and no matter what you're putting in, rarely does the, the quality increase through the chain, right? So uh, starting with great quality content, you know, what we do versus having streaming, it's online. So you get the convenience of being able to buy a movie, uh, running through a selection, you know, be it on, on a browser, be it on the on-screen display, be it on an iPad, uh, you know, iOS or Android tablets or phones, you know, scroll through the movies, but it's actually downloading to the actual box. So it's local on your system. And what that basically means is you're never going to have any issues with, uh, you know, streaming and internet, you know, the internet could be fully shut off. It doesn't matter. Your movie's going to play perfect every time. Uh, and that's yeah. because we get the, you know, the, the mezzanine file directly from uh, the studio. Uh, and then we mm -hmm. spend a ton of hours really making sure that that, uh, that that picture is perfect. Consistency. That is something that I've always liked about the Kaleidoscape. If I'm streaming something, I have to deal with the Internet. And um, even if I'm looking at a movie, my, my wife may be doing something on the Internet. My kids may be playing Minecraft. My son may be playing a video game. And that could affect my consistency, which is why if you think about people who are really looking for the best quality and they want the best quality all the time, Kaleidoscapes seem to be found in the best theaters in the world. So there's a reason for that. A lot of it has to do with consistency. There's also some other applications where you don't know if your internet's going to be reliable. Um, I see these a lot in, in whether it's um, luxury boats, um, RVs, because when you're on the road or you're, in an R or you're in the middle of the ocean, your Wi-Fi may not be very consistent, but you know what? When you're watching a movie on a Kaleidoscape, it's always going to have the same, the same quality. Well, and, so. and that's exactly right, Phil. I mean, when, when you look, we have, um, you know, obviously our, our strongest base is in that residential side uh, for putting, you know, into, into personal, you know, home theaters. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, the RV, the, you know, the yacht market, the boat market is, is a huge piece for us as well. Because like you said, people want consistency. Uh, and they want quality, uh, you know, and especially if they're enjoying, we get a lot of people that, uh, especially on our Strato systems, any movie that they purchase, they're actually able to download on up to five systems. And so that means that, you know, they may have, uh, you know, their, their home theater uh, at home and they're using Strato for that, but then they can actually put a Strato in that RV, in that boat, uh, in that yacht, and they're going to enjoy that same quality. So if you're, you know, if you're on vacation, you want to be able to access your movies. That's probably for a lot of people the only time that they can, you know, have that time. So uh, we want to make sure that no matter where they are, or if they have a vacation home out in the woods, uh, you know, with unreliable internet, that uh, you know, again, they get premium, pristine quality, full fidelity, you know, every time they watch a movie on Kaleidoscape. Yeah, and, and and that's one of the reasons why I love using a Kaleidoscape for the reviews. I know that when I set up a Kaleidoscape and I go pick a movie, I pick the I play the same movies most of the time over and over again and take the same photographs of the same scenes because I know those scenes. And I know every single time, regardless of what projector I'm connecting to it, each one of those projectors is getting the exact same quality of that movie. So just as if I was using a disc. So, because let's talk about this. Um, there are a lot of streaming stuff like Netflix mm -hmm. or maybe Hulu or Amazon. 
And but some people still want to own the movie because you may go out and Netflix may have Star Wars on its library right now, but then that contract ends, and guess what? You don't have yep. Star Wars. So people still want to buy it. So neither so there's multiple ways to buy it. A physical disc on a streaming service or on a download service. A lot of times the pricing, it's really close, whether you buy the physical disc or whether you buy it on a streaming service like um, Fandango or, or, uh, or the Apple Store or whether you download it on a, a system like a Kaleidoscape. And I will tell you that if you want to make sure that every time you play back the movie you own, it's going to look – it's perfect. It's going to require a physical disc or a download. And and that's what makes the the Kaleidoscape special. Now, speaking of the players, mm -hmm. um, how many movies can fit into um, a Kaleidoscape? I always ask, and and you guys have different options sure. for um, for users. Okay, so can you talk about the different options that you have available? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, the way I like to look at it as as quality of movies. You know, as we get into 4K, HDR, UHD. Um, as all of those increase, you know, that, that's kind of where I usually set level set the, the, the quantity numbers. So if you take a product like our, our Strato S six terabyte, um, that's a product that's going to hold, uh, around a hundred, um, 4k quality movies. So, you know, we're talking HDR Atmos. Um, if you're putting in, you know, we all have some of those movies that haven't been upgraded yet to 4k are still in HD, you know, Blu-ray quality, uh, then that it, number is going to increase. So maybe it's, a, you know, 150 or so. Um, so usually I say, you know, between 100 and 150 is what most people have on that base unit. And then in our in our uh, 12 terabyte unit, that's going to be able to hold, a, again, between 200 and, you know, let's say 250, 275. So, you know, what we find is that the average Kaleidoscape user uh, has more than 250 movies. So uh, a lot of times people jump into the six terabyte and it's a great product, gives you all the Kaleidoscape features, uh, but then they end up within the first couple of years realizing that they need to uh, put more storage in there. Uh, I'm definitely one of those guys. Uh, you know, as you add movies, it's, as we all know, it becomes addictive, right? You know, it's like, oh, I wanna own this one. I wanna own that one. Uh, you know, I have this on DVD. You know, I just did that the other day with Blade. Like, you know, have it on DVD. Now we have it out in 4K Atmos, gotta buy it. So, you know, those are the opportunities in there. And, and especially right now, we've got some, you know, great pricing if you own the disc. So for those of our owners that uh, maybe have premier systems, like the, the older disc-based, uh, you know, systems, which are great, you know, if you own that movie in disc and it's validated because it's in your system, uh, we've got great promotions. Uh, you know, we want to make it easy for for the owner to be able to upgrade to, you know, be a Blu-ray or, or uh, 4K quality. Uh, and so I know I've been buying up movies in the last few weeks where most of my upgrades were only four dollars or nine dollars, um, you know, which is incredible to be able to go from a, you know, a 480p quality, uh, you know, all the way up to, uh, you know, 4K Atmos. So, yeah. And, and I will tell you that I have a lot of a lot of discs that I still have on my Kaleidoscape. Why? <laughs> because I don't want to have to go down and open my drawer and dig for the movie when yep. I can just bring up that beautiful, a beautiful interface and um, pick the movie and have it play. Uh, yep. For me too, um, because I do a lot of trade shows and I do a lot of the playing the same thing over and over again, it's I, being able to make those little dedicated playlists, yes. one for color and play it all the way through. Like for example, people come over to my house and they go, hey, you got a really nice theater system. Can you play something? Instead of me saying, oh, let me go get that Spider-Man and digging for the Spider-Man and waiting for the FBI footage and, and going to the right chapter, I just have um, um, a playlist labeled WOW. And <laughs> people come over and they go, can you play something for me? And I go, yeah, let me turn everything on. And I hit WOW and they get crushed with this visual and audio experience. Two minutes of this movie, two minutes of that movie, two minutes of that movie. And and they just go wow, you know. And I know that it's going to be the exact scene that I want played to wow my buddies. Because the fact is, when you have a big sound system and you have a big home theater, it's you kind of want to show it off when your buddies come over 
they come over to watch the football game and the game's over and they go, what else can you, what else do you got? Being Let able to make you. them go, yeah, my system is better than your system and I can <laughs> prove it in six minutes is, is a, um, is really, really fun. So a lot of times, even if you have the disc and you want to, like, like, like Britt said, move up from the HD version to the 4k version, why buy a 4k disc when you can just get the special and upgrade? Okay. Um, the other thing too, the, how you shop is actually kind of nice. Mm-hmm. So you can go in and shop online. Like I think Brit right behind him has kind of the interface that's kind of on the store where you can search by by movie, by genre, but you can also search from your from your smartphone and your tablet. And you can also um, once um, buy from there and also pick content from your phone to toss up. So if someone's watching a movie and you want to queue up something else. You can do it from the mobile device, which is really um, a fun thing as well. Yeah, well, and that's something that, you know, I, I think a few of those points, Phil, you know, uh, mean a lot to a lot of the Kaleidoscape users, but not everybody knows that it's there. So like you said, you you build this beautiful theater, you're going to want to show it off. We we all do that, right? And so, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, we've been used to, I've been doing it for years in the industry, you know, oh, here are six demos. That means six different discs um you know fbi warnings and everything else and you know what kaleidoscape is able to do is basically um you know number one in in most of those movies that you're going to want to show our content team actually goes through and creates those special scenes so you know we say oh these are going to be the top scenes we actually bracket them so it's it's not you know chapter searches and then fast forwarding and rewinding uh you know it, it takes you right to that scene but at the same time um, you know, I was chatting with, uh, with somebody the other day and they're like, you know, I love this Adele, uh, scene in the concert, but she talks about the song ahead of that. So I actually want to show it 30 seconds before, and I showed them how to be able to build that out, you know, and then being able to, like you said, bridge different scenes together. So if you want to show off your, you know, your action movie with great LFE, uh, you know, you have the opportunity to be able to do that and then jump straight into, you know, a concert. You know, again, people people forget, they always think about Clyde Escape for movies, but we're seeing a ton of people, especially right now when, you know, live music's a little harder to find, you know, being able to watch the, the concerts. We have hundreds of concerts that you can pick from, uh, no matter what genre of music you like. And, you know, again, it's like you're there. It's like you're sitting in the front row. And I think those are the great things. And then, as you mentioned in the in the store, you know, we've got over 11,500 movies now and more than 1,000 movies in 4K, so true 4K content. You know, how, how do you filter through that, right? You know, and, and that's what's hard a lot of times you go through a, a lot of the streaming services and, you know, you're just, you're, you're scrolling for 30 minutes trying to find something. <laughs> you know, we try to make it easy. So if you go through, you're in there right now, like if you go into the collections, uh, you know, you can look by genres, you can look by new movies, Rotten Tomato scores. Uh, and then, of course, if you got a specific movie you want, you can, you know, up in the top right corner, you can look right through the search bar. So tons of great ways, HDR content, Atmos content. You know, we, we've searched it the way that we as movie lovers would want to search it. Uh, you know, and that's how, you know, generally, you know, everybody else is going to want to search it as well. Now, the other thing that I like about your about your service, too, is there's lots of cool little holiday promotions and bundles that are offered. Like Brent talked about being able to update easily if you had the physical media, the old an older Classcape system that was using disk going to a download. Um, but even me, like, like last year, I went berserk before CES. Um, buying movies because I kept getting alerts that this was on, you know, get, get all three matrices, you know, <laughs> for a special price. I was like, buy, you know, yeah. get, get, you know, get the Star Wars trilogy, buy. And I just, and I bought all of, I just, it, because there's always these great little promotions where you go, man, I would really love to have that entire um, series, Lord of the Rings or, or something like that. And wow, it's available in 4k and whatever, Dolby Atmos. And it's really a tempting thing on a typical day. Uh, you'll find movies anywhere between that that you know fifteen to twenty dollar range for something that's been out for a little while. Some of the newer releases, you know, go into the twenty twenty five. You know, if sometimes by the studio up to thirty five. Um, uh, mm-hmm. But like you said, we've done a ton of great promotions. We uh, just wrapped one up, so unfortunately, uh, you know, but we've got some other ones going on. But like you said, you know, our our Black Friday promotion, you know, movies have constantly for the last as long as I can remember, uh, you know, Black Friday means go stock up on your movies. (laughs) Uh, You know, and this year was great because you had, uh, you know, Blade 4K, you had Lord of the Rings and theatrical and extended versions. 
Uh, you've got Tenet coming out, uh, I believe, on December 15th. So you've got all these great movies in there that, you know, the movie lovers want to buy, um, you know, and are frankly posting in all the home theater chat groups and, and everything else right now. Uh, but you can get those same movies and, and we basically have them, uh, you know, at, at the same eight to ten dollars. You know, so, I mean, okay. I, I was buying this year, you know, I went through, I think, an extra almost one and a half terabytes <laughs> just in the last week, you know, buying movies because it, it is yeah. it's a great time to buy. And it's it's that same love that, you know, when you buy it yeah. on physical disc, getting that great deal on it, we're offering that same deal, too. And you brought up a big point, Tenet. Uh, because of the situation that's going on right now, where we're we are in our castles and 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 um, we can't go t- to those big theaters to watch those new releases. So you're starting to see movies like Tenet, Mulan. There's going to be a lot of movies coming that we're normally going to j- go to the theater first and mm-hmm. then come to um, release for consumers. Um, they're number one. A lot of those companies now are are uh, either releasing at the same time for consumers or much closer to what the theater release was. Now, one thing I've always liked about Kaleidoscapes as well, I can get the movie on a Kaleidoscape before I can get it a lot of times on a disc. I There was a bunch of movies coming last year for CES, and, it, and I could get the movie on a Kaleidoscape before I could get it on the disc. So the demo yeah. in the room was, was better be, than what we could have done if I had a disc because the disc didn't exist yet. Um, so that's another that's another another benefit. Well, and that and I think that hits a, a few of the key points in there, Phil, because, um, yeah, like we said, you know, you, you can buy the movies, you, you get them immediately. You know, they're they're downloading. You know, if, if you're on like a Terra with Gigbit, you can download a 4K movie in about 15 minutes. You know, so you've got some great opportunities to, you know, pretty quickly, you know, order a movie, go start making dinner and, you know, you're ready to go and sit down and, and watch a movie with your family. Uh, you know, in that in that full fidelity quality, you know, and then like you said, with with pre-orders. So, you know, I, I, I pre-ordered. I, I'm in that same list. I, I buy in the same way. Uh, you know, I, I pre-ordered Tenet. I pre-ordered Lord of the Rings. And what's great that we do is the studios allow us to actually download 99 percent of that movie ahead of time. So let's say, mm-hmm. uh, you know, your Tuesday normal, you know, disc release day on Tuesday at midnight. Right. You could actually have a midnight showing. So we already have 99 percent of the movie downloaded. We download the last one percent, flip the switch and you're good for midnight showing. So, uh, you know, just just like going to the theater to go see Star Wars. Right. You know, it's like you you see the list of people. You can do that if you want to. And we're just seeing more and more people. You know, like you said, obviously, this is a a different time right now. And that's kind of, you know, pushing people away from the theaters, uh, which is unfortunate because I think we all grew up loving the theater and, you know, and going out there, that's usually what got us into this passion in the first place. Mm -hmm. But the reality is it's a great time to be building home cinema. Again, discs are great. We love discs. Um, They've been around for, you know, forever for it, but you know, it's, again, it's more of a hassle. People don't watch it as much. And unfortunately, you know, mainstream consumers have voted that, you know, they prefer streaming to discs just because of convenience, right? Even though they, they don't get the quality, well, what Kaleidoscape's able to offer is the best of both, you know, and, and an improvement of both. You know, it's it's yeah. as good or better than a disc, and it's as easy to use uh, or easier than than streaming. So, okay, uh, yeah, you know, there is a premium cost to buying the the box. Okay, it is more expensive than your Apple TV or your Roku, or absolutely. even a lot of times a 4K Blu-ray. However, you don't have to sacrifice performance for convenience. That's right. the first thing. Yep. The next thing, it used to take when Classcapes came out hours and hours and hours and hours to download a, a two-hour movie because the internet was like dial-up, you know, kind of stuff. Us old guys that are great, remember that? Oh, now yeah. a lot of times, like he mentioned, you buy the movie on your phone, and by the time you get done cooking and washing the dishes, it's already ready to go. So the movies are pretty much, by the time you want to watch them, if you know a couple hours ahead of time you want to watch it, that's all you need to worry about. The next thing, there used to be, um, there isn't a premium in cost. If you look at what it would cost for you to buy a first run, the day it comes out, version of the tenant, whether you buy it as a disc, whether you buy it as a on a streaming service like an Apple service or Fandango or an Amazon, or whether you buy it on a Kaleidoscape, the costs are very pretty much similar. So yes, it's a big investment for you first to buy the player, 
But once you buy that player, it's a no-brainer when you have an option of where am I going to buy the content? Yeah. Where should I buy the content? You're not paying a, a, an insane premium to have the content on the player once you have the player. Well, another change is the size of hard drives have gotten so much bigger, <laughs> which means they can use a lot less compression. You know how big six terabyte used to be? <laughs> and now when you sent me to Stratus, Strat it's, it was the thinnest looking thing. It's like one rack mount. It weighed a ton. It's like it's made out of concrete because it's so <laughs> densely packed. When um, So the fit and finish is absolutely outstanding. Um, but the fact that you could put so much memory yeah. in there. And I think one of the reasons why it is a premium for a Kaleidoscape player, you got to make it um, compact, reliable digital memory. And, yeah. and that means SSDs. Um, and everything else for that reliability, which is one of the reasons why the unit costs a premium is the quality of the memory that you guys are actually adding to these particular players. You know, our operations team spends a lot of time. So we review third party data centers who are testing thousands of drives all the time to make sure that we're putting in the best hard drives possible in these units. And that allows us to get to a 99.5 reliability percentage. So, you know, you put one of these in, you know, again, obviously we know drives can fail at certain times and, and we cover that with a great three-year warranty, but we know that as we put those in, you know, our customers don't want to, you know, you never want a system going down for you on the holidays. You know, we're going to make sure that, you know, those systems are up, you know, 99.5% of the time. So you can feel confident putting one in your system, uh, you know, that you're just not going to have any problems. Yeah. The other thing that's nice is you have lots of multi-room um, options. So, for example, once you buy the movie, you may want to use that movie in multiple homes or in multiple rooms. Like, for example, this room here that I'm in is actually kind of my lab. It's a converted bedroom that I use for reviewing projectors. And I have multiple screens and stands for projectors and everything else. But I also have a media room. And I want to be able to play the movie here. And I want to be able to play the movie there. And sure. I want consistency in both places. So um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Say I go out and I buy a six terabyte. Mm -hmm. for my media room and i want more memory there's a couple of ways to do that um I, I you know i one way is to buy another six terabyte for the other room now i have a total of 12 yep. and those two units can actually share memory between each other or or movies between each other so the movie could live on um Clyde escape six terabyte b and i could play it in Clyde escape a if I have a lot of rooms or I need a lot of memory, you guys have a, um, a server-based solution. Can you talk a little bit about, about this real quick? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, you know, that, that's our Terra unit. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, like, like you mentioned, and, you know, with the Strato S, if you, if you had a six terabyte and you're, you know, you're loving the system, but yeah, you're, you're kind of running out of storage, you need to be able to add some more movies in there. Um, you know, adding another Strato S is always a, a good opportunity you could buy that six terabyte or that 12 terabyte and you know double or triple your your movie size and that also adds that extra zone right so that's that's always a nice add-on as well um but like you said you know the the terra from there we can actually stream up to eight rooms at once so eight different zones uh eight different movies it's able to to serve them all at the same time so again great if you do have a larger home um you know to be able to get that same quality and you would do that by partnering up that that terra with the Strato, what we call a Strato C. So it's a compact, it's about uh, still one rack width, uh, you know, high uh, and a half rack width wide. Uh, so again, you can stack them two by, kind of like we have in here, they'll fit into a rack, um, you know, but again, it's a great way to, to be able to, you know, it's nice and small to put on a shelf if you do that. Um, but that Terra is great. The other benefits of the Terra are, uh, there's two other main ones for it. The, uh, it downloads three times faster. So because it's a server, oh, really? we're able to just, you know, put a lot more processing power into it, right? Because it is only serving movies. Uh, and so it is three times faster for downloads uh, than a Strato S would be. So, you know, again, if I can get that movie in 12 minutes, uh, you know, instead of 36 or 40 for a 4K movie, you know, uh, again, it all just depends on how fast you want it. The other last piece in there is that the a Terra actually has removable drives. So, you know, again, like we said, 99.5% reliability, probably not going to need it. But if a drive ever failed, you can actually have that disk removed. 
all the other drives will still play. And then when you put the new drive in, we're gonna download right from the cloud and get you right back up and running. So uh, technically that that Terra, you know, is is never fully down. And that's a that's a great additional functionality in there, especially for those that that really need it, you know, on all the time and want that consistency. Yeah. And the and the strato C's are less expensive because they because they do not have to have the internal memory because they're utilizing the memory from the from the Terra, which means they could be I mean from the from the server, which means yeah. compact and a little and, and less a little bit than a lower cost. So yeah. so as you can see there's a there's a ton of different options you guys have or of Absolutely. different solutions to grow your system. Absolutely. And in that same way, Let's say you had that, you know, you you had a Strato S, but maybe maybe you had a, a 12 terabyte. So you know, right now you were fine in terms of memory, but you know, you've got it in your theater, and you're, you know, sometimes you want to watch that movie upstairs in the bedroom, right? Or the kids in a playroom. Uh, you can add a Strato C, so you can actually a Strato S can can run two zones simultaneously. So uh -huh. again, you could add a Strato C to one of those other rooms. And that will pull even from a Strato S. So again, great okay. way to be able to, uh, you know, easily add an extra zone, add extra memory, or you know, do both. Okay. So there's one last question. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. A Strato S six and twelve terabyte. Sure. So, um, you know, our, our base unit, which is our six, uh, like I said, holds about a hundred, a hundred to one hundred and fifty movies, hundred four K movies. Uh, that's going to retail at about six thousand dollars. Doubling the storage, so now you could get a, again 200 movies, uh, runs us to about nine thousand dollars. A C, so if you wanted to add a, a an additional zone into that system, uh, generally runs about five thousand dollars. So again, all the Kaleidoscape benefits, but just without the storage, it's it's connecting to a Terra or to a Strato S. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you know for those going full in, uh, you know a, a Terra 24 uh, holds a minimum of you know 400 4K movies. That goes for uh, $12,500 and a 40 terabyte, uh, which will hold more than 700 movies, you know, goes in the at 16,500. Yes. What's, well, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a premium experience um, with premium performance with maximum convenience. So you are going to have to pay a premium for a Kaleidoscape. It's not there to be the value system. It's there to be the best system. So if you're looking for the ultimate source for that um, hardcore movie enthusiast, you got to look at the Clydes game. So take care and you guys have a happy holidays. Have a great day, everybody. Happy holidays.